Hello, you guys, and welcome to the Lone Fox final apartment tour. This is a little bit of a bittersweet moment, I'm not gonna lie. This is where the Lone Fox channel kind of came to be over the past two and a half years, and I am moving out of here, and I'm sharing with you guys a walkthrough of everything I did to the space from start to finish, going through every single room. The first thing you might notice is a mirror, which everyone needs one in their entryway, and I just happen to have this vintage brass peacock mirror, which I love so much. And then working our way up the stairwell, it is a little bit dark, but I did paint the banister black, and I added a ton of framed artwork all the way up, just to give like a visually interesting look and kind of like a little moment as you walk into the apartment. But let's head into the living room. So the first room that we are heading into is the living room, which I spend so much time in the living room. I love this room because it gets the most light in the entire apartment. The first area in here is actually our little media section. I got this media console from Article and I love it. It just goes so nicely with the space. Now right here is my Simply Safe. You guys probably catch this in the background of my videos all the time. It's my home security system and I absolutely love it. This box actually arrived on my doorstep a little over two years ago when I moved into this apartment from Simply Safe. Now if you never heard of Simply Safe, I have featured it so many times on my channel because it has kept me in my apartment so extremely safe over these past two years. I actually moved from a larger complex into a smaller duplex on a main street, so I wanted to ensure that my apartment was safe. And they have sensors for absolutely everything, so you can set up your entire apartment or home to be completely secured by Simply Safe, whether it be windows, doors, motion sensors, they have it all, you guys. So make sure to click the link in my description box below, simplysafe.com slash lonefox to save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month for free. And then working our way over into this area, I love this vignette. I just like the large art piece with the two smaller ones, this olive tree, and then I picked this actually up at an estate sale. And recently I found this bust at a yard sale for like $20. Now working our way over into the living room, this actually was originally a sectional. So the sofas here are oriented in a sectional, but I actually kind of turned them into two couches directly across from each other because I felt like it made it so much more conversational and the flow of the living room kept the fireplace introduced as well because before I just kind of blocked it off. So I love how the fireplace is now a part of it and I also painted the fireplace black as well to match all of the window trim which I also painted black and that is Valspar's Tricorn Black if you guys are curious. Now I love these couches so much. They're from Article, the leather cigar sofas, and this table here is from Zara Home. And working our way over back here, this light is from Article. This tree I made myself, believe it or not. This is actually a DIY that I did for like under $30. I found a big branch outside, glued some leaves on. I will put a card for you guys up above and the fireplace. I love the black fireplace. It just created such a focal point in this living room. It's like literally what your eye is drawn to when you walk in the space. And I did actually a tonal black art piece on top, which is just like a spackle checkerboarded piece and some simple styling. And then the last thing in this living room is actually this bookcase here, which I designed for Architectural Digest. It was such a fun video. I absolutely loved working with the team on this project and it turned out so much better than I expected. But the room that we are heading into next is the dining room. We are making our way into the dining room, which this space has transformed over the years of living here. I first painted this wall section here, a navy blue color, which I loved, and that was in my last tour. But this time I actually painted it this copper color called Copper Kettle by Benjamin Moore. And this actually just used to be a big cutout in the wall, and I think it was for a china cabinet. So I added in two pieces of MDF with some brackets and turned it into some larger open shelving where I can just display a bunch of my like thrift finds and some of my favorite decor pieces. And then down below is a media console I DIY'd in a past IKEA hacks video. Now, believe it or not, this table is from the 1800s. It is the heaviest thing in my apartment and it is the most expensive thing in my apartment, but I love it. I think it has so much care character. It was actually constructed from vintage shipping cargo crates. Working our way back here, I have this terracotta urn that I put some olive branches in and just some plates for, you know, when your friends come over and you want to serve them something. 
I honestly just put those there for the video. And then over here in the back, we have this vintage mirror. This is actually my great grandpa's mirror. And then I have two candle sconces from World Market on either side and a DIY bench. And this new rug here, I love it. It has like the sage colorway, which goes really nicely with the terracotta. And I almost forgot about the original chandelier. I love this. It's so pretty. So of course I kept that intact. Over here is a pretty interesting spot. This is well known on my channel as the horror movie room. Originally, it had this wood paneling in it and I actually painted it all white and then I changed it to this color called Black Fox and right over here is kind of like this little bar area with an Ikea bar that I created and just some you know bottles and glasses on top and then we have a speakeasy vibe over there and some extra storage over there but let's head into the kitchen. Making our way into the kitchen slash breakfast nook area, we're gonna start off with the breakfast nook, which is my favorite makeover in the apartment. I love this space so much. It just gets so much light, and I love sitting here, working on my computer, taking Zoom calls. It's just a really, really nice space in the place. And I also created this table. Now, up here I have just glass vase from Target with some faux florals in there. Always add water to your faux florals. It makes them look real and just some artwork over here. I did some picture frame molding, which was fun. Now over in the actual kitchen space, it is not a bad kitchen. It's like a decent sized kitchen for a rental apartment, but it is pretty bland, I would say. It's just simple white cabinetry. I did cover the backsplash with a peel and stick backsplash. I just liked this one more. The previous was like a gray glass and I did swap out the handles just for something a bit more substantial, but there's really nothing too insane about the kitchen. So let's go ahead and head to Marie's bathroom, which is just past the laundry room here. Surprise you guys, you have actually not seen this makeover. I did this just on Instagram and I painted Marie's bathroom pink because before it had the crazy graphic print that I did on the top, then it had white board and batten on the bottom, but I painted the entire thing Sedona pink by Bear and I love it. I think it's just such a moody, fun look in here. And this is a vintage art piece I got back at my parents' house. It's hand painted and I think it's just such a beautiful piece with the pink. And then over here, I just added some faux florals, um, a really large arrangement. When Marie actually utilizes this, she swaps it down here and then puts the candle up there. And I also spray painted all of the hardware in here. So the faucet, the light fixture, the mirror, and the shower, I spray painted all with a bare spray paint. And I did it like very proper though, so that they're gonna stay for quite a while. I just love how the gold plays with the pink. I think it's a really nice look. And the vanity is October Sky by Benjamin Moore. And yeah, that's this bathroom. It's really small, but it is a cute space. Marie's bedroom is one of the most asked about rooms on my channel, and I feel like one of the most watched rooms as well. I love what I did in here. So this was my first ever space where I painted all four walls, and I decided to paint all four walls with a lime wash and do picture frame molding, which is just like so daring, but I went all out for it and I love it because it kind of created this moody Parisian aesthetic, and I really wanted to channel that with the furniture as well. So I did this Ikea dresser and added these like French style knobs just to make them look a little bit more more of an authentic provincial piece. And then some simple styling up here. I love this big, huge jug from Anthropology. A while back, I actually did a really great Anthro collab and they sent so many beautiful pieces for this space. So a lot of the items, including the curtains, all of the bedding um, is from Anthropology. So we did an olive tree in here. I felt like it just fit the vibes for the space. And the nightstands are actually from the thrift store. I painted them black. They were originally like a walnut wood. And the lamps here are from Amber Interiors but I love this space so much. It's one of your guys' favorites as well, and I can see why, because it's just such a unique space. But let's head into my bathroom. So here is the bathroom space, and shocker, I did do board and batten in here as well, but I love this one because I did it a really deep green color. This is called Backwoods by Benjamin Moore and I love it. I also brought it up on the window trim too so that it kind of framed out the windows and I did new mirrors above the vanities. So the landlord mentioned that he wanted to have both vanities kept in the space because they were just replaced. So I kept them as is. I just swapped out the hardware and did some simple styling, but I do love how the mirrors add just like a fun element to the bathroom. I feel like they're really interesting. And I also sewed my very own Roman shades, which was the first time I did it and it's a lot easier than you would think. 
and really this side also mirrors the same exact thing it looks pretty identical and then we have the bathtub and the bathtub area is here and the shower is actually behind the bathtub that's behind the door uh, but we don't really need to go into there because it's kind of boring i don't love the dial in here so let's head into a very very interesting space which is the lone fox studio this is a room where all of the magic happens. So this is my Lone Fox Studio space. It's where I store all of my supplies, all my crafting and DIY objects. So literally this entire wall here is absurd. It's so crazy, but I know where everything is. I have all of my paint cans down on the first shelf. Then we have spray paints, yarns, and rolls. I call this the roll section. And then all the entire top and this right, or I guess left side here is all additional decor. So I have pillows on the bottom and then we have candles here, vases, and just other decor that I want to use in future makeovers or projects. In the middle of the room is my filming table, and I got this from Amazon. I like it because it's really deep, so I'm able to work on like large projects. And I have my lighting equipment up top, so I just set my camera up here if I want to actually film like at nighttime or want consistent lighting in the uh, video that I'm working on. And guys, I still do have my leather painted chair. This is the most asked about DIY that I've done, and I love it. It's still works amazing and I kind of just choose whichever chair I want to go with for the day I like this one because it goes up and down and then over on this wall is a DIY dresser that houses a ton of fabric and wood items and then I have like an artwork wall so this is just a bunch of frames artwork um, thrifted finds lamps curly willow branches. There's just a plethora of items over here. The door leads into my closet, but I never access the closet from this door. So in front of it, I have all of my faux florals because I'm constantly restyling when seasons change and I just use them as props for photos. And then this corner is my tool corner. So I have this little pegboard that I created, it leans up against the wall and it has a bunch of my tools that I can just easily, you know, grab grab if I want to. So yes, pegboard tools, just easy access. I have my tripods in the corner and then this is just for smaller items. So if I wanna, you know, like sort out all of my embellishments or wood stains, I like having this small drawer just to organize all of those items and some more tools on top. But that is the kind of craft workshop space and the last space we are going to touch on is my bedroom. So let's head in there. So this is a little area before entering my room. I wanted to share it with you guys because I don't think I've ever shared it. It has like a little ledge and I put this lavender in an urn. This is actually the Simply Safe camera that I have. It's a live feed camera, which I love because we're able to see if anything's happening in the apartment. Um, and it kind of just keeps track and keeps a live feed on everything. And they also now have a wireless outdoor security camera as well, which is perfect to make sure the outside of your home stays monitored, of course. And this actually looks up to 140 degrees in different angles to make sure really every single element of your home is watched after it has a digital zoom and so much more so definitely make sure to check out simply safe if you're in the market for a home security system and then these are just a couple of vessels down here but let's head on into my room Okay, so I might have lied at the beginning when I said the living room got the most light because I think that my room actually gets the most light. It has five windows in it, which I absolutely love. It is magical, you guys. I really do feel so sad that I'm leaving this room because my favorite element is the arched window. I literally have it tattooed on my arm. <laughs> That's how much I like this room. Um, so I'm gonna miss it, but you know, I had an amazing time here. So in this space, I actually ended up doing a board and batten wall on the back. And then recently I added in some shoe molding to make it look a little bit more French. And I popped a new headboard in here. I actually got this at a thrift store for $20. And I love the bedding. I really love this like warm brown rusty tone. It's just so pretty. And I invested in a quilt from Amber Interiors, which I'm very happy about. And both my nightstands are from Anthropology and Justina Blakenly, but they're a really old collection. So sadly they're not available anymore. And I know I'll probably get a bunch of questions on this. This light, I love it. It is so, unique it's from cb2 and i actually found these chairs believe it or not on facebook marketplace i got two of them 90 dollars each but these are from the studio mcgee target collection and this here is a bird bath i actually painted this bird bath it is from home goods and i turned it into a little side table and then another olive tree we have over in the corner i think it's like a nine foot one from wayfair it's faux and i popped it in a lowe's vessel that i kind of antiqued a little bit 
And then over on this wall in my room is my TV. So I actually have the TV in a frame, which is pretty unique. This is from TV Frames Unlimited, I believe. I will link it below for you guys if you are curious. And I got this dresser on Etsy. It's an authentic French provincial dresser. And the girl actually redid it into this black tone for me. And the last thing, which you guys have probably all seen, the most recent makeover on my channel is my office nook space, which I did with Etsy. And I love, love, love this space. I work in here all day, every day. Like I spend so much time in this area. I love how there's a window in here too. I think it's just such a cute little vibe. And that is the office space, you guys. And that's really my entire apartment tour. I feel like I want to do a proper outro. So let's go ahead and cut to that. I just picked up my camera and realized this really isn't the best outro to film because it is a sad moment, you guys. Like, I am leaving this apartment. I actually have to start packing soon, which is why I did want to get this apartment tour out before the empty house tour, just because I do have to start taking things down, converting the space back to how I moved in. And I do want to mention, a lot of you guys have been asking if I'm going to be doing a unmaking over my apartment video, which I did in my last space. And I'm not a thousand percent sure yet, just because my landlord did let me make a bunch of changes up here so I just want to run those by him first and I actually want to ask him if he would be interested in being in a video where I share with him the space you guys because he is older he's probably around I would say 80 years old and he lives under me and we only talk to him every once in a while when we see him in a window or something so I was thinking of potentially emailing him and seeing if he'd have any interest in coming up and seeing the space which I'm a little nervous about I don't know why it's just like you know he owns this so he's gonna see what I have been doing in here for the past two years but make sure to subscribe because that could potentially be a video and we have the empty house tour coming out next you guys which is next week um and there's so many more videos in the works i've been doing so much behind the scenes so make sure to also follow along over on instagram and tiktok both are just lone fox home i'll put them right here and i want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, i don't even know what else to say like this is the last video. Well, it probably isn't the last video in this apartment. I'm still going to do some moving vlogs and some other content within here. And I will catch you guys all in next week's video, which is going to be the empty house tour. So make sure those notifications are turned on because you are not going to want to miss that one. It is, um, it, it is a major, major video. Okay. Bye everybody.